And here is where the child learns to conceptualize addition. Place the addition subtraction tray in front of you with the tin bar in the second slot in the lower left corner of the tray. Find the flashcard that shows the numerals five plus eight. Place a five bar in the slot directly below the 10 bar. And then place an eight bar next to the five in the same slot. Now, to begin the process, we ask the children the questions that we have already discussed. What does five want to be? Five wants to be a what? Five wants to be a 10. What does five need to be a 10? Five needs another five to be a 10. But what does five have? Five has an eight. Will that make five a 10? No. Is five looking for an eight? No. Does five need an eight? No. What does five want? Five wants a five. But let's see, can we make an eight with a five in it? Yes, we can. We can make an eight with a five and a three. Now replace the eight bar with a five and a three bar next to the five in the lower tray. Now, what does five want to be? A 10. What will make five a 10? Another five. Do we have another five in our eight? Yes. Separate the five from the three and move the five to connect up with the other five, leaving the three on the right side of the tray. Now we have one 10 and three units, making the symbol one three or 13. Turn the card over and verify the symbol for five plus eight as 13. Now that might have gone by a little fast, so let's try another one. Again with the kid in front of you, find the flash card that shows the numerals six plus seven. Place a six bar in the slot directly below the 10 bar, and then place a seven bar next to the six in the same tray. To begin the process, we ask the children the questions that we have already discussed. What does six want to be? Six wants to be a what? A 10. What does six need to be a 10? Six needs a four to be a 10. What does six have? Six has a seven. Will that make six a 10? No. Is six looking for a seven? No. Does six need a seven? No. What does six want? Six wants a four. But let's see, can we make a seven with a four in it? Well, yes, we can. We can make a seven with a four and a three. Now replace the seven bar with a four and a three bar next to the six bar in the lower tray. Now what does six want to be? A 10. What will make six a 10? A four. Do we have a four in our seven? Yes. Take the four from the three and move the four over to connect up with the six, leaving three on the right side of the tray. What we have now is one 10 and three units, making the symbol one three or 13. Turn the card over and verify the symbol for seven plus six as 13. Subtraction mastery skills are equally as easy with the Mortensen Math Explore and Discover concept. Subtraction of units, or numbers less than 10, is accomplished by the number associations the children have already learned. Let's try one. Give a child a nine bar. Now tell him that you owe me five from your nine. Can you give me five out of your nine? No. Can you make a nine with a five in it? Yes, with a five and a four. Now can you give me five out of your nine? Yes, and when you give me a five, what do you have left? A four. Nine minus five equals four. Give a child a six bar. Tell him that you owe me three from your six. Can you give me three out of your six? No. Can you make a six with a three in it? Well, yes, with a three and a three. Now can you give me a three out of your new six? Yes. And when you give me a three, what do you have left? Three. Six minus three equals three. 
In numbers larger than 10, we can use the addition subtraction tray again and find the flash card that shows 15 minus 8. Next to the 10 bar in the lower left corner of the tray, place a 5 bar, showing 1 10 and 5 or 15. Now below the 5 bar, place an 8 bar. Now ask the question, can we take 8 out of our 5? No. So we have to take 8 out of our 10. In order to do that, we need to make a new 10 using an 8 and a what? An 8 and a 2 bar. Slide the 8 in the lower slot over to the left and directly under the 10 bar. And then add a 2 bar to make it a 10. Now take the 5 down from the upper tray to the lower tray and ask the child if we still have 15. Yes. Now can we take out our 8? Yes, we can. Remove the 8 and slide the remaining bars to the far left. What do we have remaining? A 2 bar and a 5 bar, which makes 7. Check the back of the card. 15 minus 8 equals 7. Let's try another one. Again with the tray in front of you, find the flash card that shows 12 minus 5. Next to the 10 bar at the lower left corner of the tray, place a 2 bar showing 1 10 and 2 or 12. Below the 2 bar, place a 5 bar. Now ask the child, can we take 5 out of our 2? No. So we have to take 5 out of our 10. In order to do that, we will need to make a new 10 using a 5 and another 5 bar. Slide the 5 in the lower slot over to the left and directly under the 10 bar. And then add a 5 bar to make it a 10. Now move the 2 bar from the upper slot to the lower slot and ask, do we still have a 12? Yes. Now can we take out our 5? Yes. Remove the 5 and slide the remaining bars to the far left. What do we have remaining? A 2 bar and a 5 bar, which makes a 7. Check the back of the card. 12 minus 5 equals 7.